Hello guys, um, it's been a while. I hope everybody is doing well. Okay. Um, sana okay lang yung effect ng academic break. <laughs> okay. So, we're done with chapters 1 to 4. Now we are at chapter 5. And I have, I think, given the module before the academic break so i hope i don't know maybe you have read it okay i hope you've read it and tried to study it okay so let's start with chapter five we our topic is multiple pipe systems okay, we've been dealing with pipes i think this should be the the last topic probably <laughs> Um, later on, we will be dealing with um, channels, open channels. Last topic with pipes. I don't know. We still have. Maybe we can discuss other topics in, uh, relative to pipes if we still have time during the final um, term. So, yeah, let's start with this chapter. Okay. Uh, multiple pipe systems, we have multiple uh, connections. We will be dealing with multiple pipe uh, connections. Yeah. Um, so, our first topic would be pipes connected in series. Before that, let us try to look into the assumptions first. So, assumption natin is that we're going to neglect uh, minor losses. We have discussed minor losses before, like uh, losses due to bends due to what else um, obstructions due to valves um, and uh, many other sources of minor losses uh, in this case since we're dealing with uh, kilometers thousands of meters or kilometers of pipes or hundreds of meters na length ng pipe most of the time um, the minor losses are are neglected no, neglect, neglect natin yung mga minor losses but in, in but if you want to include the minor losses that you're on in your in the actual practice you may separately analyze the minor losses and then uh, analyze also the the uh, losses due to friction just add the two um, losses and that will be it no. so but in this case most of the problems you will be assuming that the minor losses are negligible so we will be dealing with major head losses which is due to uh, friction no. okay so any more assumptions that then the flow is assumed to be continuous and steady <clears throat> i think we've discussed this before uh I assume natin na yung flow i continuous when we say continuous um, awalang leak, <laughs> but in case of leakage, then we can include it in our analysis. Uh, steady flow. Uh, when we say the flow is steady, when, what, what does that mean? When the flow is steady, steady means that the discharge, the velocity, remains constant relative to time. So, which uh, that means that, for example, we have a pipe. Let's say we have a pipe. And then the, at a certain section of the pipe, if you're going to try to analyze, in, in reality, actually, the, the velocity varies. The, the velocity of what of the liquid inside the pipe uh, varies from time to time. And uh, it is difficult to analyze uh, that, that kind of situation, no? So the, the velocity varies, so, so after one second, uh, it is slower, after a few seconds, it is faster, so so that, that would somehow affect the analysis, but uh, so, uh, and that would be uh, difficult. Mahirap yun kapag, <clears throat> mahirap, <laughs> kapag ganyan yung analysis natin, no? the, the, the velocity or discharge varies relative to time, but we're going to assume that the flow is steady, that means the flow is constant. The variations would, in terms of the, the velocity or discharge would be would be neglected. No? Although in reality that happens. Okay, so the flow is continuous and steady. There are two common problems of this type. Um, the first one is the sizes. The length of the pipe, Q, is also given. So these are given sizes, lengths, and Q given. You're going to solve for the total uh, head loss. No? 
And then next uh, con uh, next uh, type of problem that we will be encountering is that given your allowable loss or head loss due to friction, and then <clears throat> uh, determine natin yung length, sizes, and pipe. Uh, pati, pati, I'm sorry. Given din yung length, sizes of pipe, we're going to determine the discharge. Okay, that is usually happens uh, uh, when we are trying to design a piping system. Since sometimes we are limited to the loss of energy, so we're going to maintain a certain amount of discharge. Or sometimes, if this is the the allowable loss of energy, what would be the the diameter of the pipe or whatsoever? Yeah, sometimes uh, because sometimes the, the diameter affects the loss of energy. You know, so these oftentimes are the cases, two cases. Now, now we have um, uh, pipe connections in here. We have pipes connected in series. That means. Uh, different sizes of pipes, different, hindi lang sizes actually, pwede rin namang ibang, uh, ibang uh, material. Like for example, may, this is GI pipe, and this is PVC pipe, and this is plastic pipe, or um, PET pipe. No. So, it's connected in series. Or it can also be uh, different sizes, okay, connected in series. Series means, ayan, uh, the pipes are collinear or uh, hindi naman sila kulinya <laughs> uh, basta isa lang yung kanila isang length lang yan yung line okay so that's this, are, this is pipes connected in series so ano yung mga conditions so most of the time you're going to establish equations of discharges and uh, head losses so let's say for example we have both ends from uh, one, from one end to another the discharge at at point one, ito, uh, the discharge at pipe one, observing the law of continuity of flow, or law of conservation of mass, law of conservation of matter, if Q1, the Q1 is also equal to Q2, equal din yan sa Q3, Q4, and so on. Okay, basta series, yung connection ng pipe, discharges are equal. And the head loss, the total head loss from one end to the other end, is just the sum of the head losses in each pipe. So if, for example, the pipe has a different material, then it has a different value for, for the frictional uh, friction factor, for Darcy Ways back, for N for Manning, C for uh, Hayes and Williams. Okay, so, and the different sizes also. No? So the total head loss, the head loss from one end to the other end, is just some of the head losses in each pipe. Okay, that's, that's the condition for uh, pipes connected in series. Now, we also have a connection, a parallel connection. Ano yung parallel connection? So, this is an illustration of, of pipes connected in parallel. So, this is a single pipe. Ito, isang sing, single pipe. Hindi, hindi to separate pipe. Ah. Isang pipe lang ito. <laughs> isang pipe din ito. Okay. So, they are connected in, in parallel. Okay. Obvious naman na. Eh, based on uh, illustration so they are connected in parallel that means that um, the, the discharge in the entire system so for example mention metain junction dito na metain discharge yan it will be divided into three uh, discharges so basically discharge in the entire system is simply the sum of the discharge at pipe 1 uh, plus uh, pipe 2 and then discharge at pipe 3 so that's the equation for discharge and the total head loss is the head loss from A to B head loss from A to B from one end to the other end of the uh, connections is equal to the head loss at pipe 1 ito, head loss at pipe 2 equal the head loss at pipe 3 so to solve for the, the head loss from A to B from from one junction to the other junction. So to solve for the head loss is uh, you, you can just solve for the head loss in one pipe. No. Putting pipe one, putting pipe two, putting pipe three. So pare pares nang. Okay. So that's the difference between pipes connected in series and pipes connected in parallel. There is another uh, connection that's the multi um, the pipe networks. Of course, a more a, a, a more complicated. Uh, this is just a, this is simple. Now, if you try to 
um, look into the different piping systems in a certain city or municipality, uh, in water districts, and it is a complex, co uh, complex, complicated um, connections of pipes. No? So we call those pipe networks, and we are going to use numerical methods to solve for the the for that for that for that case. No, I think uh, we're going to have that topic perhaps at the latter part of the fin finals. Na lang. Okay, I hope we can reach that particular topic. Now, ito yung dalawang conditions natin. Okay, so that's it. So just try to remember ito yung dalawa yung mga conditions for pipes connected in series and uh, pipes connected in uh, parallel and then equivalent pipe uh, ano ba equivalent pipe equivalent pipe a pipe system is to be replaced with an equivalent pipe the equivalent pipe must have discharge have discharge and head loss as the original piping system so if you try to replace now a pipe for example you want to replace a, a parallel connected pipes into a single pipe na lang okay para mas uh, simple yung analysis um, for the pipes to be equivalent for the, the for the two systems to be equivalent then they should have the same discharge and the same amount of head loss okay so that, that's uh, the concept of equivalent pipe okay so that's it i hope that is clear now let's go to uh, problem solving. Problem solving. <laughs> now, so to solve the first uh, problem, it's a pipe connected in series, obviously. Okay. So how do we deal with this? Um, first problem: pipes one, two, and three are three hundred meters, one fifty meters, and two fifty meters long, and twenty five centimeters, twelve centimeters, and twenty centimeters in diameter with F one, F two, and F three equal to. 0 0.9019, 0 0.021, and 0 0.02, respectively, are connected in series. If the total head loss is 10 meters, what is the rate of flow in in cubic meters per second? It's it's a type of problem. Second problem, allow a young head loss and given. I think we are to solve for the uh, discharge. Okay. So, yan yung second type ng problem ito. So, what would be the flow given that the head loss is limited to 10 meters only? What would be the flow that it should be maintained inside in the pipe system? Okay. So, let's first is that we need to establish the equations of discharge and equations of head loss which was discussed a while ago, but let's just, let's just try to rewrite it again. So, for pipes connected in series, this would be the illustration. Eh? The illustration that then, like the label in terms of the diameter, length, and then the friction factor, since they have they are different in terms of those things. So, pipe one, pipe two, and pipe three. Okay. Um, equation of discharge. So, since it is connected in series. Obviously, Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3, or let's just say Q, since they are all the same. Then, naman. Q na lang yun. And the total head loss from one end to the other that is equivalent to HF1 plus HF2 plus HF3. That should be equal to, let's say, HF. I don't know, uh, HF na lang yun. HF ba yun 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 uh, HL, I'm sorry. Which is equal to 10 meters. No, that's, that's limited to 10 meters. Now, what should be the discharge? That should be maintained no, for for the head loss to be uh, 10 meters long. Okay, I think our key equation would be ito. So, since given yung friction factor, then obviously we're going to use the Darcy Waste back formula or equation to solve for the head losses in each pipe so we have hl then is using the second equation there hl is 10 meters i know um hopefully magkasha yung equation natin we have 10 meters is equal to let's uh, try to establish the first uh, uh head loss here 
So head loss is equal to 0 0.0826F is 0 0.019L. Length is 300 meters. And so A to F L Q squared. Q. Well, we are solving for Q. But this is this should be Q1, but since Q1, Q2, and Q3 are the same, then we can just represent it in terms of Q. No. So that we will only have one unknown in the equation. So we, let's say this is Q squared all over D raised to 5. D is 0 0.25 raised to 5. Plus HF2. 0826 uh, times 0 0.021 length is what's the length? It's 150 meters. Q2 squared, since Q2 is just the same with Q, then let's just write it as Q squared all over d raised to 5. D is uh, 12 centimeters. It's zero, uh, sorry, 0 0.12 raised to 5. And lastly, we write the third, HF3. F is 0 0.02. L is 250 meters. Q, Q3 yan, pero pare-parehas lang yan. Squared all over D raised to 5. D is um, 20 centimeters. So 0 0.2 meters raised to 5. Now we are, we are, we are left with one unknown in the entire equation. No. So we can now solve for Q, which is obviously equal to. Uh, we you can actually hindi uh, lang mong kasi calculator ito, but you can simplify each term muna, and then solve for Q. Um, you can also para magkasya you can factor out yung itong para para sa naman ito. So you can just factor that out, and then para mas konti nga lagay yung sa calculator. I don't, although I don't know if that that will still be enough. No, to write down the entire equation in your calculator, but you can factor this coefficient. Okay, factor it out, and then Q is equal to zero point zero two eight six cubic meters per second. So ganyan yung um, yan yung discharge na required. To maintain a head loss of 10 meters in the system. Okay? So, that's it. Uh, you can convert this to liters per second because, you know, when you when you tell this to your um, dito? clients, oh, uh, what would be the expected discharge na lalabas sa gripo namin? Ang sabihin mo is 0 0.0826 cubic liters per cubic meters per second ma'am or sir and then um, of course the car the client if he's not an engineer you know it might be difficult for him or her to to imagine the amount of that particular discharge so maybe you can convert this to an equivalent value in liters per second so at least uh, i think most of us or all of us know how how a liter yung yung quantity ng liter isang litro na no? yung quantity because uh, oftentimes yung mga binibigyan natin na tubig uh, soft drinks are are in this um, units no so para may imagine nila kung gano'ng karami yung lumalabas na discharge no ayan so let's it. So, let me convert this to a, to an equivalent value in liters per second so that's how we solve for the Discharge. Now we will continue with the the rest of the problems in a separate video, na lang. Okay, so see you in a, the second video.